he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I am? They said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and other Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He saith unto them, But whom say ye that I am? Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. The truth of Scripture is that Jesus Christ comes and he asks his disciples what is the most compelling question that we are all faced with and we'll all have to deal with someday in our life. Who do you say Jesus is? First, Jesus asks the question, who do men say that I am? And what he's getting at is he's trying to help the disciples to realize that people are calling Jesus a multitude of things. There are a lot of things and a lot of names and a lot of titles that people have added to the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. They've called him a great teacher. They've called him the greatest of prophets. They've called him a multitude of things that is pictured here in this passage of scripture. But Jesus narrows it down and he brings it down to where the rubber meets the road. Who do you say that I am? And that's a personal question that Jesus asks his disciples. And that's the personal question that God asks us. Who do you say that I am? It is personal because it brings us to a place of understanding that we have to realize that we ourselves have to deal with this God. We have to do something with this Jesus. We have to come to a realization of who he is. And when we come to the realization of who he really is, then do we begin to understand the great works of Calvary and the work of the power of the resurrection and the need for us to turn from our wicked ways and trust him as our savior, embrace him as our God. Who do you say I am, Jesus asks. The important question, why is it so important? Because all of eternity hangs upon that question. You see, if you don't know who Jesus is, then you'll never call upon him as your savior. If you don't know who Jesus is, you'll never surrender to him as your Lord. If you don't know who Jesus is, you'll never have an opportunity to enter into the eternal realms of glory. God has created us for much greater things than what you find here upon the earth. God created us for eternity. God created us for intimacy. God created us to be a people who would proclaim his name and, and portray the goodness of God throughout all of, uh, all of God's creation. God created us for much more than this. 